Hello everyone, it's Linda from Full Moon Studio. Welcome back to the channel. Um, apologies, I've been away for a while. Mr. Mac and I have both had COVID and I'm also going to apologise in advance. We're better, um, but I find that if I talk a lot, um, I do tend to get a bit of a wee cough. So hopefully I'll get through this without coughing. Um, so I am back to do my second video for BB Craft. And if you remember, they sent me a big... Um, bag full of these wooden tags. There were 100 wooden tags and they were four different shapes. I'll just show you those. Okay, so we had the, um, the tall one, the scalloped one, the little baby one here and then the banner. So I'm going to be working with this little baby today. They're very, very light um, and that kind of gave me an idea. So as you can see, I've been messing about. I've made a few collages. Um, so we'll, we'll do that today and then we'll make something with the collaged wooden tags. So let's pop those out of the way. Let's get that. Um, so I have got some little bits and pieces, a um, couple of bits I've already cut and I've got some, a uh, little bit of scrapbook paper, fairly um, heavy. So what I want to do first of all is just... Um, I'm just going to draw around this actually so I'm probably going to use that side so I'm hoping that this is straight um, it's come off a pad and I think pretty much it should be straight at the corners that's that one and let's just do the same again in fact I think I want, I'm going to do three because that will give me plenty to work with And this is double-sided paper, so of course that also gives us a little bit of, um, you know, uh, more options. So, I mean, you probably could measure this if you wanted to, but I think this is probably just um, as good a way of doing it as any. Um, so let's do that. I think what I'll do, I'll go straight along the top of the three of them here. Go up here. That's a spare bit. And then let's just cut these apart. Like that. Snip off their little corners. I'm just, um, I've got the camera zoomed in. I hope it's going to be enough. Um, and I've just got this little bit of cream card to work on um, because I think you would have lost the detail of this um, against my big squared mat. Okay, Let's grab my um, rubbish bin. Right, so let's have a look. We've got that, we've got that. Well, that one I've actually gessoed because um, I was kind of just messing about to see um, what what we could or couldn't do. Um, so I'm going to actually put that aside because I might want to use that for something else. So I've got this one. Um, let's just grab another one then. Okay, so I want to do two. Whoops. They're right beside me here. There we are. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, I think, I mean, they're awfully pretty just, just as they are. Um, but that's a lovely neutral background. So let's get that on. And I think um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use some um, art glitter glue for this. And then I'll... Um, Probably use some matte medium just to seal the whole thing. But we'll just get that on there. Not a bad fit. I'll trim it in a minute. Um, same with this one then. So this is a scrap of an old um, Stamperia pad. I think it's... Um, Oh, now, Atelier. I think it's Atelier, something like that. So let's just 
actually use the small scissors and trim. So, you know, you think you've, you've drawn round accurately, but then when you come to sticking it on, you haven't. That's all right. Let's trim this one up as well. Um, so I've done this both ways. I've done it um, using art glitter glue and then just sealing the top. Uh, and I've also done it um, using the, the matte medium for all, all the layers. But I think, I think it works better to get that, that bottom layer in. OK, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this spare one now and tear it down the middle. And then that can just go on there like that. Yeah, I like that. So I'm not going to overthink this. I'll just make a really simple, quick little miniature collage tag. Um, and then say so I've got a couple of ideas of how we can use them. So that one's on there. Um, That's kind of lost against that, isn't it? Let's see. I wanted something a bit pinky. Um, not sure I like that terribly. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to go with this one. Um, and I'm going to go for this more orangey color and hope it's going to be all right. Oops, just put a little bit of distress ink on that edge. Actually, maybe just go with that one. That'll do. Let's use that. Let's not overthink it too much. How many times have you heard me say that? I'm not going to overthink it. Whoa. OK. Down we go. Um, if you are using collage medium, then that is a good good reason to work on more than one at a time because you can kind of just let it dry um, and then work on the next one. Um, but it does dry quite quickly. OK, so I've got two backgrounds there. Quite happy with that. I'm now just thinking about whether I do want to take something along the bottom a wee bit. Um, yeah, I think I like that. I think I'm just going to go along the bottom with that one. Just, you know, slowly build up some layers here. That's all right. Sorry, I bet I'm out of frame because I've got the camera zoomed in. Um, need to try and remember to stay here. OK, so I've got that one, got that one. Um, do we want anything? Oh, do you know, I quite like that. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm probably going to regret it, but let's just do it anyway. Um, although I think it's a bit, a bit tall, so I'll just do it like that. That's OK. I could just hear Mr. Mac rumbling about in the background and I don't know if he knows that I'm filming, but hopefully he'll hear me talking to myself and realise that I'm filming and not just talking to myself. Uh, I need a sip of water, excuse me. <coughs> OK. Right, so we have got two little backgrounds there. So let's find some... Um, little bits and pieces maybe to put on. I've got these tiny, tiny little flowers that I've cut. That's pretty. I like that. That's kind of been my main image for that one. Um, and I don't know, I do have these um, field ephemera snippety things from, from Tim Holtz, but I think um, they're probably going to be a bit small and probably going to take me forever to dig through. Let's just a really quick look and see whether there's anything that catches my eye. Must admit, I kind of, I like that. I do like that. A little, little toadstool affair. 
And we've got that one as well. Now, I really kind of like that toaster, and I think if we had that and then the right kind of little label, it would probably work really well. Possibly. I'm just going to see if there's a little orangey, I think in here somewhere there's a little orange butterfly. Let's see if I can just find that. <laughs> see, I had started out to do it all in pink. There we go. Well, there is a butterfly, which will do if I don't find another one. He's a bit big, isn't he? A bit big. Come on. Mm. Here we go. There's one there, and I can see another one, but I can't grab it, of course. Here we are, right at the bottom. That's it, that's the one. Okay, that was worth digging for. Yeah, I think so. I think I think I'm going to be quite happy with that probably. Um, and let's now just pop in um, something in the top here, some sort of a label. I've got a few, um, but not the ones I want, of course. So let's just see what else I fancy. I quite like that, actually. Yep. And then maybe, maybe just a word of some sort um, along the bottom, just to ground it all. What have we got? Um, this says just breathe. I'm hoping it'll fit. Yes, it's going to fit. Perfect. All right, so... That goes there, and that kind of goes underneath there. I'm happy. I'm just going to commit. I'm going to pop that on there, like you so. Put my mushroom on. Maybe just have the mushroom just out the edge there, just a fraction, just so that it's going out the frame of the little tag. And then finally this butterfly. Actually, You know, I'm beginning to like that. Let's just play about with the, mus with the mushrooms for a minute. Ah, that's interesting. So, of course, I wish I had put it down first, but I think we'll get away with it. Yes, let's have that. There's just a tiny little little die cut bit to come out there. How'd you come? That's it. Not got my pokey tool to hand. Pencil's fine. Okay, that can go in there like that. That's better. That's giving me more. What I was looking for. Stick that back on like that. Okay, and I've got this word. It says just breathe. And I think it's going to be the most perfect fit. Great. So what I'm going to do very quickly before I move on to this one, I'm just going to get this um, matte medium. So I've got this Rangers multi-medium mat. Um, so you can use it for collage and gluing and all sorts. Um, and I'm just going to take a little of it and put it into this spare lid. Um, this is an aqua brush, actually, but 
it's got um and quite a broad tip and it's a nylon tip um so it's just perfect for doing little mini collages this this kind of size so let's just give this a quick coat and that'll just keep everything neat and tidy won't it and i'll pop it to the side just to dry off so that's that one done let's pop it out the way for a moment and let's go back and work on this one which was pink um let's see what i can see what i can find Ooh. private collection specimens there's a pretty little label there that just fell out the box just at the right moment um it may be Quite like that. I actually think I actually think I'm gonna take this leaf off. Um I just think I can always stick it back in if I want somewhere else, but it's just not quite where I want it to be, so let's take it off. Yes, I quite like that. So um Let's just find another little something. Um, what if we move that across that way? And that goes there. About like that. All right, I'm going to commit. So smart glitter glue put that in there then i think the flowers next and again i think i might just have it coming outside so i'll trim that little extra bit off um, and then finally that little label will fit in there perfectly yep that's us so really quick and simple to make but they're good fun so really i think well maybe one two three four five five six seven elements on them something like that what have we got one two three four five six yeah okay so put that about there um and i'm just i'm not going to completely glue that leaf down um until i've got this in and just to see if i want it to overlap ever so slightly the top of that which i do so let's do that And actually, I can do that as well. Stick this leaf down. Perfect. Happy with that. Um, so we'll just give it all a bit of a trim. That's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to lid back on that i'm just going to put some more of this matte medium over the top just to hold the whole thing together i mean you could put more than one coat on i'll just do one for now but i think one will be enough okay so that's me got two little two little mini collages um not quite dry so what i'll do those are the two that we've just I've just made um, and what I'll do I'm going to bring in two that I made earlier and use those so I've got this one um, well let's do this one and then hopefully one of the other ones will be dry okay so um, same sort of thing scrapbooking paper a little label this is a washi sticker um, and a little word there that says love um, I think I have been around this with some distress ink but we'll just do a bit more for luck okay um so as i say it is so light um that i thought well do you know what head and paper clip why not um so i've got this nice big paper clip um and i've got some red tape i always like to start with some red tape when i'm doing these hidden paper clips just for a little bit of extra 
um, strength. So that's on there. And then I need a backing. So I can use that. And I'm going to just, let's just do that actually. Let's, because you will see the back of this. So. Okay. Right, so I actually meant to put the red tape on this bit, didn't I? Never mind, you can't have too much red tape. All right. So. Oh. Yeah, backings are off the red tape. Let's put the paper clip on where we want it to be. So, hopefully about there. All right, that's great. Uh, then I'll, I'll use this other bit of red tape as I've got it. Um, but I'm just gonna put glue around the rest. Line it up. Perfect. And that has us got um, a hidden paper clip, which we could just pop into our notebook, like that. So that's that. Um, and then the other thing I thought we could do, um, again, because they're so light, and I'm really hoping that this one's going to be not quite dry enough. Right. Um, I'm still I'm thinking about making a back for it just for prettiness. Don't really need to, but let's just let's just make a back. So I'll just do my quick draw around. Big scissors. Oh, can't see the line. Ah, must be there, mustn't it? All right. Nearly dry. Um, I just want to put. That's what that's missing. A little bit of distress ink around it. Okay. Let's just glue this onto the back here. I'm going to put plenty on. So this is a step that you probably don't need to do, but I just wanted to, yeah, felt it would just make it look that little bit more finished. Okay. And then I've got this, this magnetic tape. Um, so I thought, right. Let's put a bit of that on here, and it's actually self-adhesive, um, and let's make it into a fridge magnet. As I say, they're so light, it's very easy to do. Um, so again, this has got red tape. So that's um, my magnetic strip. Now, I probably should have cut it a bit, a bit shorter, um, because it's been on a roll, so it's um, you know it's not going to turn up, but it, it could do. Um, anyway, I haven't got the fridge, um, but I do have a metal ruler, 
So let's just pop that on there. And that's not going to fall off anytime soon. I think that would be fine. Um, so what have we got? Um, I've got my hidden paper clip. I've got my lovely um, fridge magnet. I've um, got a couple more that I made earlier. Um, so great fun. Thoroughly enjoyed making these. Um, and I am going to link down below to um, BB Crafts website for you. And also I will put down in the description box, um, I have got a code. Um, so that if you do want to order from them, there's a code um, and you can use that and you'll get some money off your goodies. So thank you all very, very much for watching. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.